Fred Van Vliet went from being completely underrated to one of the most known names around the league in just a short amount of time. He's recently been recognized as one of the best players in the league this season, posting numbers similar to the game's top stars. So in today's video, we're going to share some information about his journey to the league along with the reason he's been able to improve so much lately. Fred Van Vliet's been able to take such a dramatic leap this season by just trusting in himself like he always has. Coming into the league, he went undrafted. He had to slowly work his way up to an NBA roster, and even when he landed with the Toronto Raptors, he had to fight to get any kind of minutes. He had to play behind Kyle Lowry throughout his entire career for the Raptors, but Lowry's departure helped catapult him to new heights. Lowry took his talents to the Miami Heat alongside Jimmy Butler, and it created a massive hole in leadership for this Toronto squad. Van Vliet realized he had a great opportunity to really take his career to the next level, and he seized the opportunity with both hands. We're at the halfway point in this season, and Fred is having a year unlike any other in his career. He was named an All-Star for the very first time, and was the only player for the Raptors this year to get that honor. Van Vliet rightly deserved to be named to the All-Star team too, as he's currently the leader of the 31-25 Raptors, the same Raptors squad that went 27-45 just a year ago. Van Vliet averages 21.6 points, 7 assists, and 4.6 rebounds per game for the team, getting it done everywhere on the floor. Each of those stats represent career-high markings for the point guard as well. Before we dive deeper into some of his other stats, we gotta talk about his frame. Many of the most talented players in this league are lengthy, taller wing players who can create their own shot with ease. Guys like Giannis Antetokounmpo, DeMar DeRozan, LeBron James, and Kevin Durant are just a few examples. Van Vliet, on the other hand, is a shorter, stockier point guard, yet he manages to dominate everybody when he's on the floor. He's listed at 6 foot 1 inch and he weighs approximately 197 pounds. That's the same as Andrew Wiggins over on the Golden State Warriors but I think it's safe to say that Wiggins is well over 6 feet 1 inch in terms of height. He plays with a tremendous amount of effort and heart to keep up with anybody on the defensive end. Fred has incredible basketball IQ too, and quick hands to swat away passes and poke the ball away to hound his matchup. Van Vliet also isn't a type of player to just get bullied over in the post, which is why he can be kept out on the floor for long stretches at a time. He's gotten himself to a point where he's practically never a liability out there. Moving forward into those other stats now, one of the biggest reasons for his overall improvement has been his shooting, aggressiveness, and playing time. Fred didn't usually see playing time like Durant or LeBron have seen the past couple years due to playing behind Lowry in the offense. However, he's starting to get the minutes he really deserves. He averages about 38.4 minutes a game this season, the most in his career, and according to some reports, it's the most minutes per game out of anybody else in the league. To put these minutes into further perspective, Van Vliet has already played more minutes on the floor this season than he has any other season in his career total. Remember, we still got half a season left to play here. Van Vliet isn't even scared of the opportunity in front of him either. He's snatching it up. He's taking shots far more often than he did in previous years, averaging about 17.3 field goal attempts per game and 10 three-point field goals per game. Shockingly enough, he's cashing in on a ridiculously amount of those attempts, too. Sometimes we see players take a lot of jump shots and not cash in, however, Fred is not that kind of player. He's shooting 53.5% from the floor, the highest field goal percentage of his career. The only other player on the roster right now in Toronto who's got a better field goal percentage is the rookie Justin Champagny, who hasn't played nearly as much as Van Vliet. Before we move on to the next portion of the video, be sure to take a minute and smash that subscribe button, guys. It's free, and it's only going to take you a few seconds. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Moving on to the team's success with and without him now. This group is 10 times better and more efficient when Van Vliet is out there controlling the offense. When Van Vliet is on the floor, their offense performs a lot better. They score 8.3 points per 100 possessions more when he's out on the floor leading the way, and they also allow 7.1 points fewer per 100 possessions on the defensive end when Van Vliet is out there. This kind of impact puts him in the 97th percentile throughout the entire league, a stat that could even put him into the MVP conversation. His box score numbers might look good, but his impact numbers have him nearing superstar status. Now, arguably, the biggest reason for Van Vliet's recent success this year has been his mentality. 
He's definitely mentally one of the strongest players that we have in this league after all he had to go through in order to get to this point. He's battled every single day to improve his game and just now we're really seeing the true effects of all that. Van Vliet was asked about his insane numbers at the All-Star break, mostly because he was in a group along with other stars like Nikola Jokic, LeBron James, and even Steph Curry. He said, Sounds about right where I feel like I belong at. I just try to work hard, be humble, go out there, lay it on the line every night for the team and, you know, whatever comes my way after that, I'll take it. But I definitely think very highly of myself in my own head. I don't speak on it too much, but that sounds about right. Van Vliet just has this way about him that puts him ahead of other players. He has immense focus and diligence to keep on pushing forward. He never gives up and has long been recognized as the type of player to show up to the gym first and still be the last one to leave. DeMar DeRozan was asked about Van Vliet recently too, and he shared a glowing opinion about the type of person Van Vliet really is. DeMar said, He's never satisfied with nothing. He carries himself like he's got the biggest chip on his shoulder. He carries himself like he's six foot eight, and however tall Freddie is, five foot eight, whatever he is, that's the type of heart he has, so it's not surprising to me at all. Besides being a friend of his, I'm one of his biggest fans. Love watching him compete, and in my opinion, I think he should be an all-star. Fast forward a little later after that quote, and Van Vliet was indeed an all-star like we talked about earlier in the video. Fred knows the work it took to get to this point, and he doesn't just sit back and get satisfied with the fact that he's now a starter. He wants to keep on getting better. It's that Kobe Bryant mentality that Van Vliet really seems to have, and it's a reason he's going to keep on improving his game as the years go on. DeMar obviously isn't the only player who's worked with Fred who has shared a similar opinion of him. Norman Powell said that Fred never backs down from anybody or any challenge. He said that he would challenge Kyle Lowry sometimes and keep everything competitive, and in Powell's opinion, it was really fun to watch them push each other to get better. Their head coach Nick Nurse also talked about how Van Vliet isn't the most athletic guy out on the court, but he moves quickly and has a sense of fearlessness inside of him that helps him take on anybody even if they're a lot bigger and stronger. Now, Before we wrap up the video, we want to leave you with one more quote, this one from Van Vliet himself. It's the reason he has this chip on his shoulder to keep on getting better. Fred said, The difficulty in being undrafted isn't, of course, about a lack of talent. No, it's the damning low expectations that come with the label. Lottery picks get lavished with attention and early opportunities. Lower first rounders get their share of minutes too because the team wants to see a return on investment to prove they picked the right guy. But no one's career rides on the undrafted guy. Now I'm the guy that's over on the side who's shooting by myself. I didn't have the front office telling the coaches to play me. I wasn't even signed to a big agency. I didn't have agencies reaching out to reporters on my behalf. And that's the stuff that plays a part in the business of the game, and I didn't have an equal opportunity until I got my feet in the door, and then I did the rest by myself." That might have been a pretty long quote, but we think it's a beautiful story to wrap up how Fred has gotten so good over just the last few years. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the video that appears now on your screen.